Okay, y'all, let's crack. Hey, y'all, it's Trish. For this project, I'm going to use this lamp that I found at Goodwill Outlet for $1.49. Just look at all that beautiful detail work. This lamp shade that I got from Goodwill Outlet for $0.99. Cent, some Krylon spray paint in rose petal pink. Some Waverly chalk paint in ivory. Some fabric flowers from Hobby Lobby. And my glue gun and some glue sticks. So this lampshade was perfect for my lamp, but they had wrote on it in marker and it wouldn't come off. So after I talked to Kay, she suggested spray painting it. So I grabbed this Krylon spray paint in rose petal pink, and we're going to take it outside and give it a really good coat of paint and leave it to dry. While we're waiting on that to dry, we're going to go ahead and paint our base of our lamp. I love all the detail work that's on this, and as soon as I saw it, I knew that it could be a beautiful shabby chic piece. So I'm going to give this a good coat of paint. I'm using my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory, and I actually ended up giving it two coats of paint. I let it dry, and then I gave it another one. After the first one, it was just a little streaky, and that was probably okay because I'm gonna be distressing it, but I wanted it to be solid. Once my paint is dry, I took a fine piece of sandpaper, this is just the sandpaper from the Dollar Tree, and I start going around this and getting all that detail work to pop out. You're just going to go over it as much as you want, whether it's a heavy hand or a light hand, until you make that shine. The thing that I love about these pieces from the thrift store is that when you see them, if they don't exactly match your style or they're not your colors, Try imagining it with a different color or a fresh coat of paint. The beauty about these pieces is that it takes very little work to turn them into beautiful pieces. I also painted and distressed the finial that goes on top of this lamp. Now that our lampshade is dry, look at that gorgeous shade of pink. I am in love. <laughs> we are going to decorate this with some of these fabric flowers. These come in a roll from Hobby Lobby. They're like $6.99 for a roll, but every other week they're 50% off, so you get them for $3.50. I cut them apart and trim off that mesh, and then I simply use hot glue and glue them around the base of this. I think this gives it such a pretty romantic look, and it is right up my alley, y'all. Once we get these around the bottom of the lamp, we're going to do the same thing around the top. I think this just kind of finishes it up and ties it all together. Y'all, I fell in love with this piece. I was going to give it to my friend's granddaughter, but I think I'm going to end up keeping it in my office. Once we get these on here, we're going to put this back together and it'll be finished. Today we are so excited to be teaming up with our new friend Kelly from Flea Market Rescue for some thrift flip inspiration. If you haven't heard of Kelly, you have to go check her out. Her channel is full of trash to treasure DIYs and thrift flips. She blows me away with the fabulous items she finds to flip and the ideas she comes up with to repurpose them. We just know you're going to love the gorgeous DIYs and thrifting information she has on her channel. When you finish our video, go over and check her out. See what she found and repurposed. We will have a link to her video in the description box below. Make sure you tell her we sent you over. If you are new and coming over from Kelly's channel, welcome. We are so happy to have you join us. We release three videos each week. We're sure you can find something you like with Crafting Cousins. Now, let's craft y'all. Hey y'all, it's Kay. For this thrift flip project, I'm going to be flipping this sign that looks a lot like somebody put their foot through it. Maybe they stepped on it, but I think we can reuse it and make it an interesting project. I'm going to be using one of these metal word signs that I got at the Dollar Tree. This is a larger size and they come one to a package, not three. I'm going to be using seven five gallon paint stirrer sticks. 
some Waverly chalk paint in the colors ink and white, some gel stain from Hobby Lobby, a furniture repair marker in the color black. I got these at the Dollar Tree. Some craft paper that I got from the Dollar Tree. And finally, an assortment of glues. My super glue fix-all adhesive, my super glue wood glue, and also some Elmer's glue all. So the first thing I'm going to do is start deconstructing this frame. I'm going to take this paper off the bag. I'm going to remove the hanger on the back, but save that, we'll reuse it and I'm going to remove a ton of staples from this project. And eventually I decided to take out this background entirely. It was just too busted up to reuse. So I take my hammer and I give it a really good smashing and it comes right out the back. Now I'm going to stain my frame a little darker color. I'm going to use that gel stain and I'm going to stain all of the edges, basically anything that already had stain on it. And I'm using a baby wipe, by the way. And I'm just rubbing that in. And once I'm done, I'm just going to set it aside and let it dry. I pre-cut all of my five gallon paint stirrers to the right size to fit inside the back of my frame. And then I'm using my furniture repair marker in the color black. And I'm just going to stain the small edges on each of the seven pieces. And then I'm going to come in with my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to paint the front of all of my paint stirrers. It only took one coat. It gave really good coverage, so it was very quick. Then I'm taking the word family, this metal word, and I'm going to paint it in the black Waverly chalk paint. This took two coats to get really good coverage. And now I'm going to go in on the back part of my frame and I'm going to evenly space apart these seven paint stirrers. Yes, there will be some gaps in between, but we're going to take care of that. I'm going to place the glue on, get them like I want them, all lined up, and then I'll put something heavy on the top and then we'll just let that set and dry until it's in really well. Now I'm going to go in with my Elmer's glue all and I'm going to place a coat all the way around the back of my frame and I'm going to place down this craft paper that I pre-cut to the size and that will clean up the back nicely and it'll look very professional. Now let's go in and replace our little hanger on the back. We're just screwing it now so that it will be a horizontal picture and not vertical. And that's what it looks like. I'm using my super glue fix all adhesive on the back of the word family. And I'm going to center that right in the middle of our frame. And then I'll again place something heavy on it and let it set overnight. And there's our finished piece. Very simple, very fun, but it's going to be a very fundamental part of my home. Do you like to create with paper? Create beautiful journals, cards, embellishments, and interactive mini albums? Well, you should go and check out our channel, Crafting Cousins Create. There, we slow down the videos and give you step-by-step -step instructions that make it easy for everyone from the beginning to the advanced crafter to follow along. There will be a link to that channel in the description box below. We hope that you'll come over and join us. Hey y'all, it's Trish. For this project, we're going to use this candle holder that I got at the thrift store, some Waverly chalk paint in ivory, and some gold metallic acrylic paint from Crafter's Closet, two pumpkins from the Dollar Tree, some floral foam, some fall florals from the Dollar Tree, and my glue gun and some glue sticks. So, when I saw this candle holder, I fell in love with it. Y'all know I am a sucker for anything that has a lot of detail, and this had a ton of it. Now, I wasn't crazy about the color. It just really did not suit my style, but I knew that if we gave this a coat of paint and then did some distressing, it was really going to make it pop and give it a fresh new look. So I grabbed my Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory and I gave this a really heavy coat. But I make sure that I use that brush and kind of go around in that detail so that it doesn't pull up and become a gloppy mess. 
once I get my coat and a half because I put a good coat and then did some touch up I left it to dry I'm also going to paint this pumpkin y'all know if you've been around that I do not like this orange color of these carvable pumpkins from the Dollar Tree but with a coat of paint you can make this fresh I knew I wanted to use that gold metallic paint on this and it wouldn't hold up to that bright orange color but by putting a coat of ivory paint on there it's really going to make it pop. Once that ivory paint had dried I took my gold paint and I started off just going in those ridges but then I ended up kind of going over the bumps as well kind of lightly but you know going over them anyway because I just really loved the way this was looking. Once I got a lot of that gold paint on there, I ended up coming back in while it was still wet with my other brush that had the ivory paint on it. And this started blending together and it became like this creamy gold, almost like a sherbet color. Now our candlestick is dry, so I took a piece of that sandpaper that comes from the Dollar Tree. This is a really fine grit, and I start going over this, making sure that I get those edges and over that detail so that it pops out. I just love this look. I think it makes it look so vintage and so aged, and it always amazes me how a little paint and a little distressing can make these things look. Now we're going to take some floral foam and I cut it at an angle and put it on my candlestick and then I cut off those edges so that it fits. I am going to use a little bit of hot glue on here but it doesn't stick real well so it's easy to change out. I'm going to take a piece of the skewer and stick it up in my pumpkin and stick it down into that styrofoam to help hold it there. And now we're going to change the angle so you can see what I'm doing. I take that other little felt or velvet pumpkin and I glue on top of this. I love these being at an angle. And we're going to take our fall florals and cut them apart and just start sticking them around the base of our pumpkin. I always end up with a lot of these fall florals from the Dollar Tree. I just love the way they look and the colors. So when I'm in the store, I have a tendency to just keep picking them up every time I go in. And this is a great way of using them. It's a different use for a candlestick. It takes your topiary and raises it. And then when you add these florals in at the bottom, it just gives it such a rich look. I love this. We're just going to keep poking these in. I cut them apart and I stick them in. And once you get a full look and you're happy with it, this project is finished. Thank you so much for watching today. If you saw something you liked, we hope you'll give us a big thumbs up. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think and if you have any suggestions. We just love hearing from y'all and it really does help our channel grow. We would love for you to tune in all week for Made It Mondays, Wild Card Wednesdays, and then finish off the week with Craft Chat on Saturday mornings. Bye y'all!